Hello pals, welcome back to my channel and back to my cupboard slash wardrobe because today we're doing part two of sorting out my shit cupboard which is to sort out my wardrobe and my clothes and rebuild my capsule wardrobe and just have a general clear out. I feel like I should do like a previously on but then who do I think I am? You would have seen last week I did a clear out of all of the stuff that's in this cupboard and to be honest I'm looking at the piles of junk that I made after that video, which was a couple of weeks ago that I filmed that, and the piles are still here. I have not done anything about the stuff that I cleared out, which is very bad, but you know, I'm being honest with you. Maybe sorting out the rest of my wardrobe and my clothes will give me the kick up the bum I need to sort out these piles of stuff, and maybe it will help motivate you to clear out your wardrobe and clear out your shit cupboards as well. I've had a capsule wardrobe in the past. It was never very strict. I used the Anna Edits kind of method of making the capsule wardrobe. I'll link her video up in the corner because it explains it very comprehensively. But then when I came back from holiday last month, I put all of my summer clothes back into my wardrobe and all of my winter clothes were still there. So now all of my clothes are all over the shop and I don't have enough hangers for all of my clothes. So I'm gonna get everything out, look at every single piece, decide if I want to keep it, decide if I want to save it for next year, like the next season, or if it's gonna be donated or thrown away if it's that bad quality. So I'll give you a little tour of my wardrobe as it is, the before. So here's where I store my tops and my trousers and skirts. And this is like up to the ribbon was like my day to day capsule wardrobe. And then this side of the ribbon was like smart dresses, like interview clothes that I wouldn't wear every day at all, but they need to be hung up. And then on this side, I've got this kind of modular shelving, which is just a mess. Like what even is that? There is like rough sections, like the very bottom section is shoes that need to be kept in boxes. There's also a pile of shoes there. This was like gym, yoga, lounge wear stuff, pajamas, jumpers, cardigans, tops. Adam's tops and so that's something I want to do is to like get all his clothes out of here so all of my stuff's in one place, all of his stuff's in one place. There's some more trousers up there, <laughs> shoes, a bag at the back and then more shoes and trousers and then this was like a couple of drawers of just bits of stuff so yeah this needs sorted out and then the very bottom there's even more loungewear because we have a lot of loungewear and then i also have this box that i sorted out in my last video which has some out of season clothes and christmas stuff so that is kind of like the extension of my wardrobe is the out of season stuff so first step is to get all of this out so i can see it all So this is why I needed to take everything out so that I could match the lino on both sides because it had gross carpet there before. Although the carpet was much better laid on this side so it was kind of hard to pull up. And this isn't straight so this gap happened and there's like a hole in the wall behind this tape that I've just found which is fun. So hopefully when you're emptying and clearing out your wardrobe it will involve less DIY. I've also just added another rail on this side. I just kind of jammed it in and I just found this in our other cupboard and it was a perfect size. You can see how I put that in. <laughs> I'm gonna paint over that later and it's pretty, pretty solidly in, but I am gonna put some 
string to kind of hold it up in the middle just in case. So I just threaded some string through using a paper clip and then I already had these wooden letters for crafting so I chose a H, it seems like a pretty sturdy letter and tied it around that so that you know it can't get through. So now we are on to the clothes and this is literally all of my clothes, all of my shoes. There are a couple of bits in the wash still so I've got some bits that are hanging up that I need to remember to sort out. And coats and well it's mine and Adam's coats combined so that needs to be sorted out as well. So I think I'm just gonna do the big sort in time lapse and then put everything back in my wardrobe that I'm keeping and then tell you the bits that I am keeping. is my tops sorted. I've got t-shirts that I love, some long sleeve tops I love that I'm keeping for you know at least spring maybe not like the hottest days of summer because I still live in Scotland it's still cold and then these are some tops that I'm keeping in but they're kind of on their last chance. I'm giving them one more season to see if I wear them enough and then if not they'll go. I've got some stuff that's going into storage so this is just some like winter or smart tops. I've been through my smart clothes as well, um, like my nice clothes that those ones are going into storage. This is some bits that I'm getting rid of and then I've hung these ones up for now and like moved the smart things that do need to be hung up over there and I'm gonna sort this out properly because I really don't like, I know it's a tiny thing, I really don't like these metal hangers that they're on because they kind of leave like funny shapes in the shoulders like some of them that have been on these hangers for a while have got like funny shoulder shapes <laughs> so I kind of want to get all my tops onto wooden hangers all of my wooden hangers are currently with my trousers though jumpers this one Adam wears it more than I do and it suits him better so I'm just gonna put it in his jumper pile and I'll wear it when I fancy it these are on their last chance my one with the rainbow sleeves and this one I will give them a go a little bit longer my chunky cardies absolutely love them these ones absolutely love this one really needs to be hung up though because it gets creased like immediately and um, I feel like I'm don't have that many jumpers like I love this one so much and I don't want to wear it out I don't want to wear it too much so might be investing in the jumper department and this one also I love it so much and I think it's kind of wintry so I'm going to put it away so that I can enjoy it for longer. I put these shorts in the to-go pile just because I have nicer shorts now these are my black high-waisted skinny jeans I might put these in storage in case I have a thing where I need to wear black jeans, I don't know, like another job. And the same with my black dungarees which are hanging up to dry up there, I might put them in storage. I've also put this white shirt in the to-go pile because the armpits are like yellow, it's so gross. And I don't know how to get rid of them. So I'm gonna have, I'll Google how to get rid of yellow armpits and see if I can resurrect this shirt, but if not, it needs to go. I'm also having a go at some Kamari-esque folding to see if that helps me use all my clothes so I'm just going to add another shelf in to this modular set and I just sellotape it in. So it's the next day, I did not have time to do this in one morning, I had to go to work so I've still got quite a bit to sort out. I need to go through shoes, the out of season stuff that was in this box, 
pajamas and loungewear is going to be a biggie and my bags as well. We have so many pajama t-shirts and like loungewear hoodies that we just don't use. We use the pajama t-shirts but if we're wearing, if we're like around the house and we need a layer we just wear dressing gowns. So we have so many like sentimental hoodies that we don't need anymore. And I don't know how this got in there because that is a pinafore dress. really made the pile much smaller because I need to go through it with Adam. There's too many sentimental like memories with these hoodies that we do not need. So then we have pajamas, tops and bottoms. This is still an excessive amount of pajamas for two people but we just love pajamas and loungewear so you know we're keeping them and a load of these t-shirts are sentimental as well. I've got my exercise clothes, top tops and bottoms and then I've kind of had a rejiggle, I've put my t-shirts right at the top now, those are Adam's t-shirts to go when I've made some space in the drawers and I've done this like Marie Kondo style uh, stacking thing, I don't know if I'm going to keep it because it is kind of hard to get things out but it looks good for now. So many of my shoes are just completely broken or just so dirty that I don't wear them anymore. I really need to, and it really smells in here, I'm not enjoying being right next to this pile of stinky shoes. Um, I do need to up my trainers game or they live in boxes forever and I don't wear them. So although I don't have very many shoes, I only wear like two pairs of shoes. What is even in here? Oh my god, I forgot about these. I don't know when I'm going to wear these, my sparkly heels, but I feel like I should keep them for when an outfit does require them. I don't know, I'll just keep hold of them. And then these ones as well. These are like like the go-to pair of black and white heels that go with everything and I feel like these are the only heels I'm ever gonna need but then I've got jazzy pink sparkly ones as well. And then these are my knee-high boots which again I think I'm gonna keep down here. I might try and put some of these up into like that storage container if there's room because I don't need them every day. And then it's such an awkward season like I've got my Burks out and my winter boots out and I don't know which pair of these I'm gonna need tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, I'm not getting rid of any pairs of shoes. I just don't yet know how I'm gonna store them because I kind of need to make another shelf in there but I've run out of these grids. So I'm gonna go through my bags and then see what room I have left. So these are all my bags currently. Ah, oh, my bum bag. And there's like a mixture of everyday tote bags, smart bags, and like night out fancy bags. Hmm. Again, I'm not gonna get rid of any of my bags. I just need a smarter way to store them. So I've just popped all my bags on the top and I was debating this because these are not my everyday bags. So they shouldn't really be part of my capsule wardrobe, but I thought I would use them even less if I put them away and in a box. So maybe I could use these as everyday bags. Obviously not like the super smart clutches, but at least they're all like easy to access and easy to see got my tote bags hanging just down that side so I can get to them easily. I've got my backpack can just go on this shelf as well. The only way I could think of for the shoes was to put an extra shelf in and do it that way so I did manage to find a spare shelf from the bunny cage that, that wasn't like crucial and sellotape that in and then I've got my two shelves. These are like my less worn shoes, my sandals, and these are like my everyday ones. And the final step, which probably should have come way early in this process, is to go through all my clothes that are in storage and take out anything that I do want to wear, make sure that everything that is in storage I do still want to keep, I don't want to get rid of, and then to put everything 
into this box that I've said that I want to be in storage. Obviously, moving the Christmas things out of the way. So I want all this lot to go back into my wardrobe, but there is no room. I have no more coat hangers. There's no more space in the t-shirts bit, so Oh, I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions, I think, and kind of swap things out. I forgot about all the coats. Oh my God, this is taking so long and it's so difficult. I'm gonna take all of these off and see what I want to put back on. Oh my God, that was so easy. I should have done this one first because it was so quick. I could even do Adam's side just because I know exactly what he's gonna be wearing. And to be fair, it was our winter coats that were really bulky and bulking it up. I think I'm gonna keep my scarf out because I did wear it this morning and this coat, which I, have not worn at all since I've lived here, so that's going. So stuff that is going into storage is festival clothes, smart clothes that can be folded, a winter coat, stuff that I'm kind of putting away and seeing if I miss it, and if I do miss it, it can come back out. Winter stuff again, some scarves, and my onesie. And these are not all gonna fit in there, so I think I'm gonna get another suitcase down and put them in there. I'm gonna wait for Adam to come back before I try and lift this up because in the last video I actually really hurt my back so please be careful with your backs guys don't lift things that are too heavy for you like I stupidly did so the stuff that is going is clothes that I just don't wear and I kept keeping them thinking one day I'll wear them but I never do and these like I just got a better replacement for them dresses that are too short for me Outerwear, I really struggle with outerwear this time of year, like smart outerwear, because it's either massive like cardigan or bare arms. And so I end up with loads of random jackets and blazers and things that I just don't wear. I did slim down the sentimental hoodies and pajamas pile. So this, these are gonna have to go to fabric donation probably because they've all got like things that pe people won't wanna buy these. And this is the before my beautiful wardrobe and cupboard all finished and sorted out with this video and the last video put together. I've got that gap there for the sentimental hoodies when me and Adam go through them. <laughs> the rug and the cage are in here. Obviously that's only temporary while we're bonding the bunnies and that'll be sorted out soon. I love having the extra rail in here. God, it smells like feet in here. Maybe I should get some like room diffusers or something. And then obviously all my suitcases and then like this suitcase to go on top now that it's full of clothes. And then I've just got the rest of the room to sort out because oh my God, it's such a mess. Like I need to hoover so desperately. I need to sort out this pile of stuff from the previous uh, wardrobe clear out. I need to get rid of all these clothes, I need to go through the sentimental hoodies pile, I need to put my bloody washing away. Why do I keep doing laundry when I'm about to film something in my room? And yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just a mess in here. So let's just ignore that, that's tomorrow's job. Thank you so much for watching this kind of two part series almost, if you have watched the first part as well. I really hope this has motivated you and inspired you to sort out your shit cupboards and your wardrobe and go through your clothes. This is by no means a proper capsule wardrobe, if that even is a thing. So don't come at me in the comments being like, it's not a capsule wardrobe. It's my interpretation of a capsule wardrobe and it's still got a lot of work to go. It's a work in progress. 
so let's all be nice to each other. Let me know if this has given you the organization buzz. It really has for me. I'm like so into organizing right now and like clearing out stuff. I've been doing it at work as well, like clearing out the cupboards. So I've been doing that all day at work. I come home and I do it here. So I really have just been on an organization hype. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my future ones. I film videos about organization, lifestyle, travel, vlogs, a bit of fashion and beauty and a bit of food but it's really a bit of everything so if that sounds good to you then please subscribe and join the fam and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!